Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising. Weekly Tower reading December 9th to December 15th, 2019. And bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. By the way, new spread today, just eight cards, no elemental dignities. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so the first one, uh, it represents the topic of your week, Sagis, and that is going to be the Nine of uh, Swords. Followed by the next one, which stands for the uh, energies that are supporting uh, the topic. We have the Five of Swords. Followed by the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the week. This is going to be the Queen of Cups. The fourth card represents the gifts and the blessings that the week is going to gift you with or offer you. That is going to be the Six of Cups. Followed by the fifth one, which stands as how others see you. And that, that is a pretty important card here with this uh, narrative. And uh, we do have the King of Cups. Followed by the next one, which stands for what you can do to help your goals, your primary goals throughout this week. Uh, these goals could be long lasting, you know, but just throughout this week, what you can do to help them, that is the Eight of Pentacles. The other card po uh, points to what can hurt your long term goals. That is going to be the, the Sun card and the last one here, which represents the guidance that Taro is offering to you. That is going to be the Chariot card. Okay, so you have the, uh, the short straw here. Uh, these two which are the topic and the energies, they have to be uh, interpreted together because they are tightly um, connected. They tell us only one thing, that you will have to do something you don't want to do throughout this week, okay? Uh, something that you would rather avoid doing, but it is just desperate times calls for desperate measures or desperate times calls for unlikely alliances, for example. But the thing is that this was an, an ace for you to play something that you had in your sleeve you you hope that the situation is not going to get to that point but unfortunately unfortunately it's going to get to that point here in the week of december 9th to december 15th um another thing to say which is kind of obvious with those two cards sagittarius is that you very well understand how big move that is and how much how can i say it despondent you are to make it but it is the necessity that calls out for for those measures that you are going to do however the energies are going to uh, obstruct you of over killing the situation so it's kind of like there will be certain limits that you cannot trespass and that could be said in a good way because it's uh, unlikely with those two cards that you are going to damage severely any kind of life or a situation uh, around you as well, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Take it that way that you are going after your thing 
and uh, the fate or the universe cornered you against the wall and now you have to do what is necessary or what is needed here despite of that you don't want to do it so you can restore justice now the other card points to the challenges and we do have a person now emotionally connected with you it doesn't have to be your lover it could be your mother it could be a good friend of yours it could be for example as well your mentor person who cares for you who understands your plights you know who understands your pain who understands the misjustice or the humiliation you went through that are that, that it is forcing you or the circumstances that are forcing you to do unwishful things right now throughout this week and uh, they will try to convince you the other way around that if you get slapped on the one cheek you have to turn the other while these cards are pointing that if you got punched you have to retaliate back and so the challenge here is going to be to overcome the presence of this person queen of cups and answer the war call okay because that, that really looks like a war call here it's a, a call for a battle a call for a war and you have to stand your ground you have to defend you know your your possessions you have to defend your ground you you have to defend your marriage your relationship yourself for example your career and so on and so forth uh the other card points to the gifts and the blessings from the week and that is going to be the six of uh cups and uh, this card is pointing to a, a small moment a trifling moment of happiness and emotional exhilaration so the whole week is not going to be full with a dark presence of the doom and gloom that you that it came to that point where you had to pull that secret weapon of yours okay uh, there are going to be those moments where you're going to feel very happy uh, probably with um, with people that are making you physically and emotionally calm and peaceful as well uh, here uh, with the six of cups but the the biggest uh, gift and the blessing of uh, of this card it is the uh the light hardness of how you are to face all of the situations it looks like the the, te the, the, the tension and the stress is not gonna get into you in a, a very severe form uh, the other card here points of how people were seeing you or gonna see you throughout the week and this is why the card is important here Sagittarius what people were gonna think of you after you do the after you do those moves that are most likely going to surprise everybody around and the people are going to think and they're going to see you as someone who did what had to be done because the king of cups it's a, a very balanced person who does necessary things and who takes well-found decisions now the decisions behind or the actions that uh, the, the king of cups stands behind they always i mean always have a reason and he always contemplates deeply with its emotions is it really a time to act so drastically and it does look like that it is now or never for you throughout this week and this card here is a testament that people around you they ain't gonna judge you they will know that if they were in your shoes they would have done the same thing okay so no regrets whatsoever it is what you should it's what you sh is that you should have throughout the week for the actions or the decision the rough the, the rough actions and the tough decisions that you have to make throughout the week itself the other card here represents uh what you what can help you to um further your long-term goals and that is the eight of pentacles so along with all that you have to attend to your plans with a great portion of conscientiousness because your plans according to this card are almost ready now only minor details needs to be attended okay before those plans can actually manifest so focus focus on the go ahead one thing at the time it is what you have to do in order to uh, progress and further your long-term goals the other card points what hurts your goals and what is going to hurt your long-term progress and we do have the sun and that is overconfidence in your case and that the everything it is in its place and 
it does not require your performance any longer it does not require your focus any longer it is like to um whistle the um how can i say to blow the whistle the final whistle before actually someone crosses the final right so do not once again do not consider that everything is bulletproof around you you still have what to improve into your current endeavors do not let down your guard this is from those two cards in regards to uh, your long-term goals and the last card here represents the guidance that Taro is offering to you Sagittarius and we do have the chariot card so that is it this card here is a testament of how tough the decision you have to make are and uh, the card points to self-confidence self-awareness and as well determination i mean strong determination and iron will it is what you need to draw from throughout this week december 9 to december 15th additionally to that uh, the card urges you to dwell upon your self-righteousness as well it is kind of like whatever you want you gotta go and take it okay because it's not going to be gifted to you because the chariot is about the luck of the hard work the workshop the 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 workshop yes the wish fulfillment as a result of a tenacious drive and this is what you have to show that you want what you are after more than anything and you are ready to do whatever it takes to get it and people cannot screw with you around because what they're going to find out is something that they ain't going to like at all. So, uh, in other words, they're going to find that you do have another side, much darker side. And you are not afraid to use it when necessary. So, that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, December 15 to December, uh, December 9 to December 15, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, 